Hello everyone and welcome to Shinko's Day and today we will be jumping into Space Wreck. Yeah, it's a, a classic sort of RPG. Oh, this is cool. I didn't notice this. Interesting. Okay, I have no idea what that is. But yeah, this is going to be one of those old school kind of RPGs. Very, very throwback. Very retro. And it's going to be quite cool. I'm really looking forward to seeing what this has on offer. But yeah, we're going to see what we can see. And if you want to see more of these first impression videos, definitely hit the subscribe button. Also hit the like. It helps out the channel. Helps out the videos. And it gets the these cool games out there for people to notice. So yeah, let's just, let's just start the demo. Uh, you may find combat unforgiving. This is because it's 100% optional. Oh, that's cool. Oh, let's not skip intro. Comparison to Brain Presents. Role playing game. Yeah, this is Space Wreck. It's gonna be interesting. In the 22nd century, humanity is spread across the solar system. Wild capitalization of the markets has sparked bloody clashes between corporations and asteroid miners, spiraling into anarchy. You are an inexperienced captain, fresh out of the academy on your first voyage. Being a complete outsider to the crew, they don't seem to have much respect for you or your command. To make matters worse, your ship is targeted by asteroid pirates, and the blast of a stray ion torpedo damages the fuel controller chip. Somehow the ship manages to limp away to a nearby space wreck in hopes of finding a replacement. But someone has to go get it. The crew proposes a lottery to determine who will. Despite your status as the captain, you feel compelled to participate. Everyone draws the straws, but you get the short one. Of course. <laughs> You manage to cover only half a distance when your shuttle unexpectedly runs out of fuel. Luckily, there is an abandoned space station nearby. You land, hoping to replenish the fuel tanks of the stranded shuttlecraft. Air hisses as the hatch opens. Stepping outside on broken tiles of the derelict station, you have no idea what to expect. But one thing is clear, there is no way forward without fuel. <laughs> okay. Uh, of course we drew the short story. If, it'll be a very, you know, uneventful and boring game. Imagine if you, like, take the role of an NPC. You sit in the ship and wait for people to do stuff. Wake up, you have arrived. Indeed, I just landed. The shuttle tanks are completely empty. You must find fuel here. Fuel, got it. Uh, let, just let me get ready. Let me create a character. Uh... It's cool always when they have kind of like options like this, but I like making my own character. Strength and agility, general fitness, so it's HP, melee, inventory space, and more. Discipline and mental strength, uh, so that's like action points. I always like taking stuff like this to get more AP. I like getting like agility in, in uh, Fallout, you know. Uh, critical chance fail, combat initiative, melee damage, evasion. Well, wow, this thing like encompasses quite a few things. That's quite cool. Uh, your, your intuition, general awareness, allows you to read people, conversations, uh, firearm range, map awareness. So that's also quite good as well. Ah, oh, chomp the good old charisma, man. Always good, always good. Always like use getting like at least a bit in this. Uh, work genius is one percent talent, nine percent hard work. Well, there you go. Now, now we learned. We learned something. Don't rely on attributes you are born with. Best work to improve. The point in work grants you one additional skill point. Ah, oh, one of those stats. This attribute is also directly related to the director, which you gain XP. Whoa. Da, 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 da. What? If I make it five, it suddenly jumps to 200%. Okay, that's odd now. It kind of like. Oh, it updates as you go over it. Okay. Um, maybe I should get like a two there. Uh, f focus. Uh, perception. Let's get more in focus. Yeah, so we become. Uh, don't have prominent stereotypical gender features. Get more perception. I see. Okay, this obviously gives you more. 
physical bonus. Uh, oh, so typical woman with natural charm, you know, use my feminine wiles to, to show them what's what. Maybe I should go for this. I'm, I'm doing it for the stats now. I'm like doing it less for, you know. Uh, this gets me more perception. I think, yeah, let's go for that. Let's be, let's be gender neutral. Because we're doing it for... Well, that actually gives you a lot more carrying capacity. Maybe I should go male, so I'm not spending points. Oh, wow, and that, like, jumps my... Okay. No, let, let's be a guy. Let's keep be a guy about it. We did it for the HP, man. We did it for the HP. I wanted to do it for the perception, but... Doing it for the... For, for the, 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 the... Ranged. Um, hmm. So perception is taken into account. I think maybe I should get some of this. Why do I have sneak? I don't want to sneak. But I might want to sneak sometimes. Oh, there's so many things here to get. <clears throat> well, they say combat is optional. I find that very interesting. Let's go this playthrough. But well, it's not quite a playthrough. Let's do this first impressions on the assumption that we're never going to fight. Tinker, pick a part repair. I'll talk my way out of anything, man. I'm going to talk my way out of this. Load in. Fit for the position of captain. Oh, that's nice of you. Negotiator, covered operation. Yeah, I'm a captain, man. I'm supposed to talk my way out of stuff. So, yeah, I like it. I like it. Engineering, hacker, so I know what's going on in my ship. Yeah, we're... I like this. Right, y'all, you can die from a single hit. Combat not to complete it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, limited computers please can use most of the computers yet. Sometimes there's accidental crash. Certainly use this in combat with or without a gun. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, Space Academy is legally obliged to inform you that the accuracy of this assessment is 23%. Well, that's something. Now, let's go check this guy. Hey, guy. Whoa, look at that. That looks quite cool. Yo, this this game, like, is... I thought it was going to be more late 90s, but this feels like more early... Early 90s. I, I kind of like it. <clears throat> oh, I don't have enough Psychic. Now, I want to start my character over. Like, this immediately makes me get, like, fear of missing out, man. FOMO. Major FOMO. Amazing but destroy a robot with the right tools and knowledge you could try to salvage something useful. But I'm not very knowledgeable or very useful. <clears throat> kind of like this, this haze reminds me of uh, old XCOM. Oh, hi there. Oh, hello. Reader personality. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Tricky. What a success. Woman in her early 40s. She radiates both confidence and humorous optimism. She has many scars, but also scars on the outside and on the inside. I can see into her heart. She's been hurt. She's been left at the altar. So many things have gone wrong in her life, and I am here to help. <laughs> uh, no, let's, let's, let's check out what happens, man. She has many scars, but also a friendly smile. You get the feeling that she is not malevolent, on the contrary, open and even friendly. However, you sense that if cross, she is more than capable of pushback. Yeah, well, in my case, apparently she could, like, flick a penny in my direction and, like, decapitate me. So, yeah, let's not do that. Hello. Excuse me, but who the heck are you? Actually, I'm the captain of a stranded passenger ship. Me, yeah, I'm just a scavenger. <laughs> Me, I just came to steal your stuff. You know what I do? It's what I do. It's what I do. It's in my in my contract. I can give you my business card. Professional scavenger. Uh, now I'm the captain of a ship. <gasps> Surprised. Oh, that's kind of cool that they say, like, how they react. Passenger ship, as in from Earth. Oh, la, la. Uh, but what are you doing here? Looking for a fuel chip. So you got stranded when somebody fired an iron torpedo at us. Uh, yeah, let's be like open and straight with her. Pirates, makes sense. Though I'm not sure you will find the chip here. One of those shipwrecks, uh, would have been a better place. The station has no engines, you know. Um, actually, I run out of food. Oh, well, in that case, you're kind of in the right place. And <laughs> there should be a ton of fuel here. Oh, cool. Laughs. Good. Good. I just armor with laughter, man. Comedy, so I can take all of you. But... Uh, that is why we are here too, and I'm not sure if Vilnius is ready to share with anyone. I have to ask him. Uh, tell me about this Vilnius. He is, well, he's not the captain, but everyone, including the captain, listens to him. Ah, a wise guy, I see. So he's a sort of a leader for this small group of people I'm with. 
Uh, oh, where can I find him? On the promenade, right in the middle of the station, there's with the barber shop and the dance floor. It's dance floor. Now I can show them my moves. I mean, well, it's 20 years ago. There's no more dancing here. Shoot. Uh, does he control access to the field? Well, admittedly, no. At least not yet. But that is only a matter of time. Uh, well, is it still up for grabs? Chuckles. <laughs> I like your attitude. Checks the gun. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no gun checking here. I just came here with my good looks and my my sexy smile, you know. That that's that's my best weapon, man. My tongue, my my tongue and my smile. That's how I get through things. Uh, none of this, none of this shooty shooty. But if you get in the way, we'll shoot you. No hard feelings, all right? Okay. Uh, change of topic. Uh, that's when I'll see you later. Bloody hell. Scan vitals. Evaluate your health. You look unhurt. Uh, whoa. Why? Why? Why did you want to go for combat, man? No need for combat. Like, jeez. Pay one per coin to use the facilities. I don't, I don't have. What? Eh, uh, okay. Uh. Uh. Lady? Uh... Jeez. Okay, why did you want to attack me now, suddenly? Let me crap my pants, my dude. Citizens, stay back. I just want to look at this guy. Yeah, examine. Engineering dirty old work attire. Hey, man, I just want to open this guy. Like, come on. Uh, is there like another way around? Because this guy is like having none of this. That person floating up there. Oh, Captain in front, damage fuel regulators. Oh, this is my stuff. I was about to say, wow, you have a Captain uniform as well. <laughs> uh, Toilet pass. Okay, maybe I can go through the toilet then. Let me take your stuff. For chance, I can use the toilet facilities. Uh, interact. Uh, let me hack this thing. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Oh, yeah. Thank you. We should have this for experience. Enter the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Uh, come to terminal cat tube access key card. Uh, Uh, can't I like show you my key card? Got like a nice key card and stuff. Oh, jeez. This guy's very aggressive. <laughs> Crap. Uh, can I like go in here? My oh, dude, I just want to go in here. I'm not approaching you or anything. Like, come on. Painkillers. Oh, yeah. Norman. Stay awake, pulls. Okay. Uh, personal computer. I love how the computers look like it comes from, like, the, the, the 90s. Interact. Can't interact with you. Uh, turn. Okay. Now we're fine, now we're fine. He, he just needed like a breather, man. Uh, instructions. <clears throat> instructions are meant for both newcomers to learn and as reference for existing employees. Um, one, as far as you check ID in the database. Uh, check carry on luggage. What? I was still looking. Oh, when you go all the way down, it like goes off. Verify account balance. Smile. Uh, what's the purpose of the visit? Explain the station logout. 
outer ring, inner ring down to mention it without need, but if I lower levels are off limits and upper level only invitation. It is someone from corporate management directly in corner. Let's have quickly overview. Uh, hmm. Reminder. Please try to delete old emails from your workstations. Remember, less clutter is better. Less is better. Important information. Ah, download the attachment. A uh, few individual troublemakers from distant mining stations have been known to craft makeshift weapons out of ordinary tools and equipment. One of those weapon types, colloquially known as Aldril. <laughs> okay. It's extremely dangerous. It can be fashioned out of just some junk, wiring and an atomic battery and a standard laser drilling bit. Notify security if anyone tried to bring any of these items with him or her. Uh, please find attached a blueprint document for the weapon as a reference. Oh, just as a reference. Well, nice. Well, thank you. Thank you. I can now build one of these. Switch off. Uh, open. Ooh. Expensive necklace. Don't mind if I do. Just wanted to show. Oh, no, no, no. A vent. Ooh. You see a standard ventilation axis hatch. You can feel slightly but persistent draft inwards. Okay, so I can maybe like try to squeeze through the vent. Hmm. I guess if it comes to that. I wonder if I need to go down. FAQ man. Oh, hello. You've got a, you've got a smiley face. Examine. In front of you is a typical interactive touchscreen stand built in AI. Assistant's sole purpose room is to provide answers to all the boring and basic questions. Okay. Mm. Is that the question? Where am I? How can I refill? Brr. Gave me XP. Nice. I can see you're a straight shooter, sir. Well, I can respect that. Your fill is stored in the central core of the station, but our helpful staff will assist you. Um, yeehaw! <laughs> it must have been a crazy night if you don't know where you are. Uh, Space Station Krogus. Uh, possibly the most fun place in the belt. Oh, there you go. And I'm not just saying that. It's really one of the main functions. Can you believe it? Sport. Because, uh, yeah, it's all fascinating and stuff. Uh, how does your toilet work? Microgravity and poopy. Okay, I'm not going to read all this stuff. Uh, okay, yeah, so I kind of got that from him. At the core of the station. Uh, oh, damn this. Bots everywhere. Oh, what's this? A computer. Interact. But it's part of a network that provides a specific function on its own. Oh, okay. Technical difficult. Please use another terminal. Have a nice day. Oh, you helped me with nothing. Let me go open this guy. Uh, security key card. Yes. Will that work for anything? Will these guys stop killing me if I use it? Can I jump into space? Oh, that's such a scary thought, though. Just think about that. You can just, like, launch yourself into space. Oh, I can go down if I really want to. Uh, junk trash, ratchet. I love how you can actually see what's inside this stuff just by going over them. Mm. Trash token. Ratchet. One man's hairpin is another man's... Uh, yeah, let's just hack it. <gasps> I failed to hack it. Can I try again? <laughs> uh, missing security ID card, appropriate clearance. Ah, uh, so if when, when once you've like tried, you can't do it. Ah, oh, damn, man. This is the one I would have like really have liked to have hacked. Mm. Well, let's go down. Like, if I can dis disarm these guys, I would be, like, so happy. Hey, I leveled for some weird reason. 
by walking I leveled I knew it man <laughs> uh, okay let's see continue uh, trigger positive change in one's character snacker hacker you get a bonus one for your hacking ability if you're snack snacking what last bullet if you have only one round left in your clip you shoot with extra accuracy uh, doesn't <laughs> apply to single shot weapons damn make it count when your clip is half empty you cannot afford to waste any rounds big bones you're not fat you are actually have big bones 10 hp on your body has become very flexible and you can squeeze through increasingly narrow openings oh that's cool field surgeon scalpel is not an effective weapon they say but when push comes to shove you may can adapt quickly suffer no penalty or precision when using scalpel oh noise background chatter condensing looks speaking to people in a crowd is hard however if you're con discovering that a more intimate conversation works better yeah, that's quite cool pipe dreamer for some reason being high on drugs opens your mind to a whole new set of ideas next year blueprints unlock in workstation when on drugs uh so far expert you have read thousands of article headlines in social networks and now have uh opinion of topic science politics military plus one side tech tinker arrangement in a conversation now let's take that i'm a sofa expert uh oh I... very interesting level up system like it they didn't give you points uh this one says one though i don't know what that means but they give you like these little marks that you can like kind of like traits like perks uh let's take a screwdriver as well Yo, I can't go past this guy now. Can I maybe? Try to use this. Uh, warning multiple whole breaches detected. Oh, crap. Well, at least I'm in my little suit. Oh, he's leaving me alone. Thank you, sir. Uh, piece of pipe electric casing. Can I sneak this way? Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, there's a guy. Okay. Hello, guy. Somebody. Whoa, hey there. I never expect to meet anybody down here. Makes both of us. Who are you? Um, uh, we're uh, explorers. I mean, scavengers. Hmm. We? Yeah. Uh, me and my bros. That's our ship back parked at the east dock hard to miss it you can find the rest of the gang upstairs on the promenade i never ask a question uh shoot what's that door that's ours <laughs> call dibs on whatever is in there first cannot be serious dibs N uh that's a rule man <laughs> we were here first and we get to claim stuff you better back off that dream lightly taps on his weapon i'm serious man mm, maybe another question what are you doing here alone Pal looks certain part to patch up stuff. Um, and I'm looking for it around the station. We keep here running scavenger patch, rinse and repeat. Hmm, say since exploring, anyways. Mind if we stick together? Uh, much safer now. Come on. Ah, oh, failure. Damn it. No, sorry, man. I work alone. Better stay under the radar and. He's already a crowd. Uh, damn, I tried. What do I pop out now? Whoa. Okay, now I'm on this side. That's cool. Remains. Oh, hi, Mark. Uh, hey, uh, reader personality. Let's see. Yo, I'm failing like in a row now. I tried to read a person and failed to do so. She's not an open book at all. What's up? All right, shrugs. Quite an awkward silence. Uh, you know, I have stuff to do later. 
this way. S is her name Santo? Might have asked you a question. Uh, what do you want to know? What's happening here? Point the people in the background. Uh, they're trying to get that door open, but I should probably talk to Vilnius. The guy in dark blue turtlenecks uh, standing by the door. Gotcha. <laughs> I can't disarm these things. Uh, are you away from the door? And we'll have no problems. Uh, what's so special about this door? Let me charm him. Come on, can I just get one? No, oh, I'm still failing. Just stay away. Damn, man. I have no charms. Ah, uh, yes. Read your personality. I'm failing so bad. Ah, finally, one success. Your sense of grounded rationality and confidence radiates from this woman. On the other hand, she also feels she does not have direct control over the decisions in the group, many of whom she considers less competent. But instead of being frustrated and angry, she seems to be calm, thus implying she still can man uh, she implying she still can manipulating still can manipulate the course of action and reach her goals. She very well could be the great eminence of this group. Okay. Can I ask you some questions? Actually, I do mind. I am afraid Vilnius will just run downstairs the moment he breaks the lock without thinking and look around for a second. Why shouldn't he? The station is full of combots for some reason. I think there could be more downstairs. There should be a security terminal somewhere to disable them and since I don't see any around here, it must be behind this locked door. I saw one downstairs when I was coming here. Downstairs? Oh right, below us. Uh, but still outside the fuel bunker door. It makes sense. We should disable the combots from in. Uh, can you take me there? Yeah, sure, let's go. I'll just put on my suit. Alright, uh, we can go. I uh, hope you know where you're going because I don't know the station at all. Lead the way. Yeah, let's go. Oh, there she comes. It's about to say you should come with me. Uh, tucka, 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 tucka. Oh, that board. Oh, it's a broken board. I was like trying to avoid a broken board. Nice. <laughs> uh. Now oh, this is it. Can't hack it because I I I I I rolled my dice so bad, man. Ingrid, sit you waiting. Uh. Need to talk about how we work together. Yes. Uh. But this is it, though. Uh, I'm in the chatty mode right now. Oh, looks at you waiting. Ah, you guys. Are you going to attack them now? No, that is a terrible idea. <laughs> Lady, what was that about? He got shot to crap. Oh my lord. <laughs> they shot the crap out of her. Oh, but yeah, this is Space Rick. So far, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So far, it's looking good. I, I don't think... This is probably like just the start of the game. And then you move on to the next place that you need to go to. But this is a cool introduction to the, what you can expect from the game. I love that, you know, my character and the stuff I can build. Like, there's a lot of... It's actually not a lot going on, which is quite cool. A lot of games, like Fallout especially, like, has a lot of things. Like, so many skills and stuff. And this one is actually, like, condensed them quite well. It's a, a more simpler experience, more straightforward, but also kind of complex. Like, once you get into things, like, all the stuff you can do, I think there's going to be a lot of fun. I think this one is going to be a lot of fun, but I'm really enjoying it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. Definitely go check it out. I'll have a link down below. But yeah, definitely give it a give it a look. Give it a look, see. I'll definitely say that. It's worth checking out. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you guys so much for coming. Ah. Do not approach. And 
I'm definitely gonna definitely gonna check out this one more. I'm I must say I'm really enjoying it so far. Really enjoying it so far. All the stuff you can do. It's very cool. It's a very cool game, man. I'm really looking forward to it. But definitely wish list it. It'll help out the devs a lot. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these first impressions of some let's plays and some top five videos of classics and indie games. So definitely check those out as well. But yeah, on this very very eerie space written note, man. Lost in space. What a dark thought. Stranded in space on a space station. And it's very threatening as well. On this note, I'm gonna tell you guys to stay safe. Don't get into all sorts of shenanigans. And take care of yourselves. Stay healthy, stay awesome. And we'll definitely be seeing each other again very soon in the next one.